Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Ace Camp collapsible trekking poles here at eTrailer. So if you have any injuries or if you have some joints that are a bit in pain or if your body is just getting a little bit worn down after all of your years of traveling and adventuring, I recommend picking up a trekking pole because this is going to reduce the fatigue experienced by your body and it's going to take that stress off of certain areas of like your muscles and your joints, allowing you to go on more trips. Now these are lightweight trekking poles that will be a great addition to your hiking, camping, trekking experiences. This is going to help with keeping you stable, help you keep your balance while you're on the trail, and help you focus on having a great adventure. We have some different options here at eTrailer. What I have on my right is the five section trekking pole and here on the left is the three section trekking pole. We also have them in single or doubles as a kit. So make sure to check out our product pages to find out which one's the right one for you. Taking a look at the three section pole, the main difference is the way it comes apart as well as how you store it. So once you loosen it, you can store it in a three section pole just like this. And when you bring it together, you just put those poles back into place, line it up with your measurement or how high you want it to be and just clamp it down. With this pole, you have a height range of 105 centimeters for your shortest hikers, all the way to 135 centimeters for your taller hikers. Once it's in its compact position, just like this with all the poles at their shortest length, you can see how easy this is to store. All in all, this is about 25 and a quarter inches long. Now let's take a look at the five section trekking pole. Now the main difference between this one is the way it clamps down. Once you extend your pole out, you're gonna have a little tab right over there at the end and that's gonna keep it in place. And from there you get to choose your height measurement. With this, you have a range of 120 centimeters short all the way up to 135 centimeters tall for your trekking pole. Once you've chosen a height, you then use this clamp to keep it in place. This consists of five poles held together by the shock cord on the inside and that will allow for ease of storage and that way you don't lose your poles when you have them in the stored position. This is nice because, let's close this up real quick, when it is in this position you can easily store it inside your backpack, in your camper, or in your car for whenever you're ready to go hiking. It includes a hook and loop strap to secure it and with it in that position you have it at a length of 15 and a quarter inches long. This one is made of an aluminum alloy, which makes it durable, but also lightweight. It's not as lightweight as a carbon fiber trekking pole, but it's still a decent lightness. At the tip, you have a nice durable tip and that's gonna be making impact with the ground. But then you also have this guard at the end and that's for when you're going through soft surfaces like mud or really soft dirt. This has an anti-shock stem and that's useful because as this impacts the ground, this is gonna maintain that stability and that balance as you trek. At the handle, we have an EVA grip cushion in it. So it's a nice foamy cushion and this is gonna increase your traction as well as be crack or abrasion resistant. So that way your hands are protected as you trek. This comes with its own strap to be used with your trekking pole. Now let's take a look at how to put on that strap properly as well as how to adjust the height for you. Now the important thing with using that strap is to make sure it's properly on your hand and that you're avoiding any wrist injuries. So the right way to do it is to put your hand through the strap and then place your thumb over the strap. So this is going to be there to support your arm but not constrict it. As for the height, the ideal height of your trekking pole is where your elbows are sitting at a 90 degree angle. If you have it too high, you're going to strain your wrist. If you have it too low, you won't get that stability as you trek. Now my height is 5 feet and 2 inches, so I'm 5'2", and I have my trekking pole set to 110 centimeters, if that gives you an idea of what kind of height you should be looking for for your trekking poles. 
So my final thoughts about this trekking pole is I definitely see it being a useful addition to your hiking or trekking trips. Now this isn't a required piece of equipment, but if you are having difficulties with balance and you need an extra stability, or if you're going through a lot of tricky terrain, I recommend taking a look at this and considering it. And that was a look at our Ace Camp trekking poles here at eTrailer.com. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.